Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, and we meet at the Life Cathedral in the Zoe Chapel. We have two services on Sundays, that is 7 to 9, and then 10 to 12 in the morning. Join us and enjoy fellowship with God and with people, of course, under very strict COVID sanitized restrictions and curtsies. I want to capture my thoughts with upstairs or downstairs, your choice. Upstairs or downstairs, your choice. Now in Genesis, back again, Genesis chapter 28, verse 12, I'm still, I'm still um, intrigued by Genesis 28. I must be very honest with you. And in that chapter or in that particular verse, the Bible says that Jacob, when he lighted upon a certain place, the Bible says he took a pillow, a stone for a pillow, and when he lay down to sleep, the heavens were opened. And then he, the Bible said he saw a, a ladder, and the ladder led straight up to the throne room of God. And he saw God sitting on his throne, and in fact God standing at the end of the ladder. But then he saw angels ascending and angels descending. So, I'm now particular. Uh, interested in the ladder. The ladder goes straight up to God, but there are two sets of angels, some ascending and some descending. But like I said, the most interesting piece of, of, of action or the, the most interesting piece of furniture for me over there was the ladder. Now, that same ladder had angels ascending and that same ladder had angels descending. That is very interesting. Somebody can interpret it in two different ways. Number one, angels ascending with our request to God. And then number two, angels descending with uh, answers to our request. Let's grant that. But I'll go beyond that. I said my focus is the ladder. Now, if you watch, for me, the ladder are the principles of God. The ladder is God's principles. See here. And here's the principle. It depends upon which side. That ladder had angels like Michael and Gabriel ascending. But that same ladder was bringing Lucifer and his hordes down. So that ladder had the power to raise people. And that ladder also had power to bring people down. And here's my, my, the concept. For, because the Bible says line upon line. God's word. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. So God's word, God's principles become line upon line, like a rungs of a ladder, precept upon precept, like a ladder. So depending upon which side of God's word you walk, it has the ability to promote you. It has the ability to lift you up. And depending upon which side of God's word you, do, you, you are, it has the ability to make you descend. So upstairs or downstairs depend upon your choice. You are either climbing or descending. Depends. You're either ascending or descending. And that's your choice. God's word has power to lift you up. And Joshua summarized it for us. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. But thou shalt study and meditate upon it daily. And in so doing, thy way shall become prosperous. And thou shalt have good success. You will go forward. You will climb higher by your attitude towards God's word. And by this same token, your attitude towards God's word can also bring you problem. Look at what Jesus said. He captures it succinctly for us. He said, I lay a stone in Zion. Those who fall upon it will be saved, and those upon whom it falls will be destroyed. So that same stone has power to bring life, and that same stone has power to bring death. This is what Jesus said. God's word depends upon where you stand with it, has power to make you ascend, to climb, or make you give you the power or push you down to descend. So your rise 
or your fall depends upon your attitude to God's word. I choose to climb. I choose to follow line upon line, precept upon precept. I choose. I make that choice. I don't know about you. The choice is always yours. See you later. <laughs>